hello traders welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to trade on levels confidently how to trade on levels with confidence because you may be doubting if the market will reverse at the level or not so it is for you to know how to draw the level okay so this is seller's level let me look at this candle okay so i'm going to place call option okay i'll tell you why i place call option here so let me tell you the reason why i place call option i place call option because of this level this is the this is the buy uh, seller's level the seller's level is here so this old area is the seller's level and i saw rejection from sellers but the closing price of this candle is still far from the sellers level so that means the sellers again will enter on the next candle to continue this bullish movement this minor trend that's why i place call option you can see the sellers enter the buyers enter okay here we have a level this level is clearly seen okay now this candle is at the level let's see if it close with rejection so i'm going to place call option i place call option because of this level let me draw the level let me draw the level because of this level this candle close at the level with rejection also we can see the minor trend this is a sign that the buyers want to go more up on this level so the buyers will enter on, the, on this level if the buyers did not enter on this level it's a sign that the sellers want to continue this bearish movement so the next candle will be bearish okay but here the buyers are interested so you need to place your trade confidently on levels we can see the bearish movement so in this kind of situation don't ever place your trade here because you will see a clear level okay finally the buyers enter so let's check here okay here we have a level we have a level here we have this level this is buyers level this is bias level because market reverse multiple times on this level so let's see the reaction of this candle this candle close at the level i think because of this strong down look at this downtrend look at this strong downtrend in this kind of situation the sellers will not respect this level because this is the level this is the strong level that i've drawn but the sellers want to go more down from this level so after this candle the sellers again will enter because they are not the buyers are not interested on this level because of strong sellers movement so i'm going to place put option i place put option because of strong sellers movement the sellers are not interested on this level so the sellers again will enter on the next candle that's why i place put option okay they will be rejected the buyers will be rejected on this level because they want to test the level the, this is the buyers level previously but as the buyers are not interested they would likely to enter and test the level if the level is still owned by them but because the sellers doesn't want them to test the level so the sellers will still go more down from this level okay this is sellers area this is sellers entry so check for levels and this one i think we have level here we have level let me draw a level an area you can see also this candle close at that level with strong rejection so the buyers will enter here but i'll place my trade with margin of safety okay there's no opportunity to place my trade here 
so I'll wait for the next candle. You can see the strong rejection from buyers and it closed exactly at that level. The sellers tried here, they failed. They tried here, they failed. They tried again, they failed. They tried here, they failed. So this is a strong level for the buyers. Now they try very strongly, but the buyers still show sign of strongness with this strong rejection. So the buyers entered very strongly. Now at the opposite side, we have a minor level here. The opposite side. I think the bias is this strong. So I'm going to face call option because of this strong bullish candle from this bias level. A bullish engulfing. Then the trend also is uptrend. So bias will go more up from this level. Okay. So you need to place your trade with confidence on levels, on SNR levels when you are placing your trade. Don't doubt if the market will reverse or not. Just place your trade, even though you have a loss in trade, is is at your own risk. Place your trade. Yeah, the market is in choppy condition, so it's not good to place trade in choppy area. Place your trade at good market. This is a level. You can see the bias is approaching this level. This is seller's zone. This is seller's zone. The seller's zone is here. So let's look at this candle. So I'm going to place put option with margin of safety. I'm going to place put option here. I place put option because this is seller's zone. At the seller's zone, zone I'm seeing a strong rejection from sellers. And the trend also is downtrend. So the sellers will enter on the next candle. So that's why I place put option. Now, another option is if the sellers did not enter, it means the buyers will go more from this level. This is seller zone. The supplier zone. We can see market reverse on that level. The sellers enter very strongly. We can see strong rejections, rejection zone. We can see the strong rejection, the seller's entry. Now we can see the sellers break the level. So this is a strong seller zone. If the buyers, if the sellers did not enter, the buyers will go more up. Okay, finally, the buyers, the sellers enter. So right now I have taken five trades on levels. So when you are placing your trade, place your trade with confidence on levels. Don't ever doubt if the market is going to reverse on level or not. Just place your trade. Now, another option is when you draw your level perfectly and you have confidence that the market will reverse on that level and you saw that the market didn't reverse, place your trade continuously because that level you have drawn, the, maybe you are drawing this level, take for example like this level. I place, I draw my level here that I know the sellers will enter. If the seller did not enter and I'm seeing a bullish candle on this level, that means the sellers are not interested. So the buyers will continue going up. So I will place call on the next candle. It happened most of the time like that. Most of the time it can be a doji candlestick at the level. So place call on the next candle. Okay. So here I place call option because the level is still far above. So the buyers will go more up from this level because of this minor uptrend. And here I place call because this can be close at this level. This so demand zone. So buyers will enter on the next candle. I place put option because the strong sellers movement, they broke this buyers area, they are not interested. So the sellers will still go more down. And I place call option because from this buyers level, the buyers entered very strongly and the trend also is uptrend. No upper rejection from sellers. So buyers again will enter on the next candle. And here I place put option because this is sellers area. The sellers area. The seller zone. Suppliers zone. Okay. And the trend also is downtrend. So I have taken five trades now. Okay, this is how you can place your trade on levels with confidence. Don't be afraid to place your level, your trade on level. Okay. If you like my video, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.